Get a good look at him. Spencer Torkelson, the future face of the Detroit Tigers in the cage, getting his work in. Uh, part of a, a revamped farm system for the Detroit Tigers. They've got so many terrific prospects. Uh, Casey Mize is also a number one overall pick out of college. Riley Green, one of the best uh, swings you're going to see from the left side. Matt Manny, the list goes on and on. I know the list, but not as well as our next guest, Ron Gardner, the skipper of the Detroit Tigers. Ron, good to see you. I guess, are you sick of being asked about Spencer Torkelson? I know he's on the 60 man, but everyone's so excited about this kid for good reason. No, I don't think we should get sick of uh, worrying about that kid. Let me tell you what, he, he puts on a show. He steps in there. He's very confident, got a great swing. And, you know, we're going to put him over at third base. And he's handled that up to this point. It's early, but he's fun. I mean, this kid's he's, he's legit. He's hey, Guardy, I don't know how many spring trainings you've been to. It was probably 40 or something. But this summer <laughs> camp, I want to know how different it is and how, if you've had to, adjusting to – Let's face it, unprecedented times. Yeah, I mean, you know, and also the protocols that MLB's put out there and, you know, not bringing too many guys at one time. So the days got really long and really slow. But we've started to pick it up now with Inner Squad today for the first time. And we're moving forward, but it's definitely been a challenge. Hey, hey, Guardi, it's Harold here. Uh, my question, hey. talk about a challenge. Um, the young guys, I see that you got nine of your top ten minor league prospects in the camp, which I think is phenomenal. And that's not talking about uh, Dingler and also Torkelson, who we talked about. My question is this. With most of those guys or everybody missing the spring season or the minor league season, are you trying to do anything different to maybe catch their time up? Or how do you, how do you work that? Well, I mean, bringing them in, in, you know, with part of the 60 group, uh, was important. You know, you draft these guys and you want all these, uh, the Scoobles and Mises and everybody to to be able to get a piece of this. We don't want them just sitting out there not doing anything. And it, I don't know if it's fair or not fair to a lot of the rest of the guys in the organization, but we know where this thing is going and it's all these prospects and they're, they're really good players. So we want them to be a part of it. And, you know, we've talked about at the beginning of the season in spring training how a few of these guys were probably going to get a chance, you know, to go up and show what they could do sometime during the year. So we might as well have them ready on the taxi squad and go from there. I know you're wearing a T-shirt that says, never tell me the odds, but I'm going to ask you, what are the odds? Uh, <laughs> Michael Fulmer is in your rotation. We just saw B-roll of Michael. I had to do a double take. He's transformed his body. He really looks great. He's lost a ton of weight, um, which he had to do, you know, when you have a knee thing and an elbow problem, you got to make sure you're in the best of shape. He's worked really, really hard. He looks great, and and he actually got on the mound today. And if you could just see his smile walking off the mound, throwing that you know first two innings of a of a of a little game we had, I'm telling you, it was ear to ear. And I told him welcome back. So good for him. You know he's worked his tail off. Hopefully it goes forward from here. Hey Gardy, uh, you talked about you started the inner squad game today, and I may have seen the catch of the year already with Derek Hill. I, I want to know. What you were thinking when you saw this and, and what the reactions were. This is phenomenal. Well, I, I thought, it, <laughs> look at this. The ball bounces up and he caught it before it hit the ground, too, which is incredible. I mean, yeah. you're talking about snow cone. That's a snow cone. He scooped and that my, thing up. Yeah, my thoughts were that was a great move, me putting him in late in the game. <laughs> hey, I, I, I want to know, since there are no fans in the stands, and this is what it's going to be like, what were the, were the reactions in the stadium? Like, was everybody yelling and it echoed around? What did it sound like? Oh, the players were all screaming. I mean, once we saw it, half of them were saying he didn't catch it, and the other half, of course, were saying he caught it. <laughs> Fortunately, we had the video going and played it up on the big screen, and it was – Everybody was pretty hooting pretty good. It was a good way to end a ball game. That's cool. All right, Guardy, I follow instructions well, so I'm not going to tell you the odds, but I want you to tell me the expectations because the Detroit Tigers are in a pennant race. That's what happens with the 60-game season this year. Tell me about your expectations in a season that everybody starts out in it in August and September. And that's that's the fun part of it. We went and added some pretty good pieces and Kroner and Schubert and guys like that to – Build on our offense. Some of our kids have gotten another year experience. Uh, our pitchers, we've got pitchers coming, as you guys have already talked about, um, and uh, they're waiting in the wings, and we've got a pretty decent staff. So everybody has a chance. You just never know what's going to happen, and 
we're excited. We love the way it was going in spring training, and then all of a sudden it kind of fell apart because of COVID. To move forward, and we got a great bunch of guys that are ready to play some baseball. So I'm excited about it. My coach is excited about it, and we think we're going to score some runs. So, like I said, anything can happen. I'm sure you think that because Miguel Cabrera looks great, and, and I was he's one of my favorite players of all time, Guardy. When I saw him hit two bombs off Garrett Cole, I'm like, oh, Miggy's back. And then all of a sudden it's the shutdown. And and then I'm thinking to myself, ho hopefully, you know, he stays in the shape that he was. He had over 340 in spring training before everything got shut down. How does he look now in summer camp? Oh, he's doing great. I mean, he's got life back in his body. You know, you can always tell when a guy feels really good out there and he's healthy and doesn't have the issues that he's had the past couple of years. He feels great. He's taking ground balls at first base. He's winking at me. Blowing me kisses about putting put him out there a little bit. So this guy's game on. He looks great. He's swinging good. He's driving the ball a long ways in BP and all those things. So we're excited. He, he means a lot. He brings it all to the table. He, he's so good in the clubhouse, so good on the field. So, yeah, it's good stuff. All right, Guardy, last question. This was about you. You come back to managing again. Is it what you expected? And how are you feeling in this transition? I feel good. Um, you know what? I knew when I took this job, they asked me about a rebuild, told me what it was going to be like. And you know what? I kind of went through that at the end with the twins. And uh, it's been a challenge, but it's also great coaching staff working for Al Avila and David Chad and his group up there. Can't get any better. Detroit, as you guys know, is a wonderful baseball city, wonderful fans. So in all honesty, we took a beat last year, 114 losses. But I really believe that my ball club never quit. They were in a, so many ball games. We just a little short, but I love those guys and I love this organization. We're having a ball. And like I said, read the shirt, babies. Read that. <laughs> Never tell me the odds. I mean, the odds of you opening the season against Nick Castellanos are kind of slim, but that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Tigers, Reds, we look forward to that. Ron Gardenhire, we love talking to you and catching up. Best of luck, okay? All right, guys. Thanks for having me. Cheers.